A cage in the middle of the popular gas lamp district here for two days. The artist and the organization organization behind her want to call attention to the border crisis, calling for an end to family separations at the border. Just imagine the acute trauma of that moment of what it must be like to have your child ripped away from you, right? This is what it looks like. Turning a crisis at the border into art. The point of this exhibit is for it to be interactive. Showing a life-size child statue stranded in a cage. In reality, there have been over a thousand families that we've identified that have been separated since the end of the zero tolerance policies. Paola Luisi of the organization Families Belong Together brought this traveling art exhibit from Washington, D.C. to San Diego's Gaslamp Square Park. We're here today to draw attention to family separation and detention at the border. Stopping passers-by who pause after spotting the gripping depiction. Well, I put two and two together once I saw the young child reaching out inside the cage. A gray statue of a young boy fenced in, looking out to his mother with her arms stretched out. And then the mom reaching and <laughs> can't get to him. Very, very sad. I don't know why we have to do things like that. This is certainly a tremendous national emergency because of human trafficking. This border-themed art comes days after President Donald Trump's visit to San Diego and the Otay Mesa border wall. This is an example of, it serves as a reminder of, of the children who are being affected by this policy. Downtown, tiny shoes of children are scattered across the walkway. Think about that. These children are missing. We have taken them from their parents. Rows of white flowers were used as a base. White is traditionally a color that's uh, associated with a lot of peaceful movements. The artistic the expression made an impact on grandmother Carmen Munoz. I'm glad that this artist has put that out because it is so wrong to separate a child from a parent. The fact that we are having a conversation about it being okay to rip parents away from their children is just not who we should be as a nation. The artist is Paula Mendoza. Today is International Peace Day. This art installation will be taken down tomorrow. The group, Families Belong Together, then plan to move this exhibit to other cities across the country.